Okay, so what I want to talk about is talking about the car. It's not about the car. I understand you want to have pride and an old school mentality, and I was part of that 15 years ago when I was selling cars. It's sell yourself, sell the dealership, and sell the product. Okay, I don't know so much about the product. Because if I am in the Honda location right now, where's my Honda manager? Anybody? There you go. Do you sell other vehicles besides Hondas that are here? Unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, but you new do car sell. Manager, yeah. yeah, I know that you're, you're new car manager, but they're used cars. What is your ratio at this dealership right here at Neil Huffman Honda? What is the ratio from new to used? Two thirds. Two thirds new. Two thirds new. So still, you know, about 33% are, are pre owned. Now, what about for the Mazda VW Subaru dealership? What is the split? Two-thirds new? Two-thirds new. Okay, what about Nissan? 50-50? Okay, so you're one-to-one -one at Nissan. So my point being is that even if you sold certified pre-owns, you have the opportunity to sell another make. Does that make sense? So it is not good on the phone or in the internet to just sell the product because then you have to backpedal if, that, if they can't afford the car, their credit doesn't warrant, the vehicle's not available. Does that make sense? You don't want to turn around and get somebody all entranced over a 38% shot to communicate through the sound and inflection. It does not make sense, people. What you want to do is just evangelize. Make them feel the Holy Ghost when it comes to coming into this dealership. Hallelujah, right? But don't, but don't get them stuck on the car. Now, here's the numbers that are going to blow you away, okay? Let's just use a 10% closing ratio here. At a 10% closing ratio, you are going to need 500 leads to sell 50 units. If you agree with me, say yes loud. Yes. 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 Okay, here's the challenge, though. 500 leads, you're not going to make a 50-50-50 ratio for appointments. Out of 500 leads, you could probably hope to do about 200 appointments. Out of the 200 appointments, only 100% of pe I mean, only 100 100 people are going to show up. Sorry, and out of the 100 people that show up, only 50 people are going to buy. I'm going to repeat that. Out of 500 leads, you're only going to convert about 200 into appointments. Out of the 200 appointments, approximately only 100 are going to show. Out of the 100 to show, only 50 are going to buy. And you ready for this number? Over, over 80 percent, over 80 percent are gonna buy something different, okay? This is what's crazy. So I'm gonna repeat that again. If you've got 500 internet leads from Auto by Tell, Delix, Auto USA, True Car, um, you know, uh, Cars Direct, Car Woo, say so again? Cars R Us. <laughs> from Cars R Us, exactly. If you have 500 leads, at best, you're only gonna make about 200 appointments. Out of 200 appointments, you're only gonna get about 100 people to show up. Out of 100 people that show up, only 50 people are going to buy. Probably like 46 people are going to buy, but you know, around 50 people are going to buy. And out of those 50 people, over 80% are going to buy something different. They're going to buy something different. Either the vehicle's not available, they're upside down on the trade, they can't afford the car, the down payment, the monthly payment, they're credit challenged, or my favorite one, Mark, new car manager. You know what I mean? I want that blue one. I want the Ming blue one, right? I need you to do a uh, uh, dealer trade. Yeah, Ming blue. Ming blue. Not available. Not available. See? I need you, but it's not available to you, but I know you're a Honda franchise dealer, so I need you to go do a dealer trade and lose half a hold back to get the vehicle in here. I need you to do it. Okay, so we get the Ming blue one. I come in, and I'm like, oh my God, that red looks so much better. I'll take that one instead. You know? That's the reality. So when you look at it this way, it's almost like, really? Really? We're going to try to you know, like fight with price over or uh, even you know specific availability through email or through the phone call? When you look at the chain of events here, 500 leads to turn around and get 200 appointments to only get 100 people show up to only sell 50 cars and 80% are going to buy something different. It, maybe they don't come in on a Civic and then buy you know a, an Odyssey. They might. But it might not be that, but it might be a different color, it might be a different model, it might have different options, different configurations, and sometimes it might be new to used, it might be you know, used to new, it might be a different scenario. So again, it's, just, it just, it's very important that you don't stress the car. Car sales on the internet and the phones is not about selling the cars. Again, car sales is not about selling the car on the internet or the phones. Car sales is about selling the appointment. 
it is it makes all the sense in the world and this is why with our word checks we tell you don't stress the availability and don't even stress the price while we're getting the video rolling it's the same thing for price why the hell are you going to be gr grinded and grinded and grinded and fall into that that price pit trap you know and sometimes we as automotive professionals actually perpetuate that psychosis ourselves and we placate to it and then we deal with it for all this to happen it doesn't make sense and this is why I personally don't believe and if your OEMs say to do it then for the record do what other OEMs say for just the OEM leads not for all your other leads the, the, the minority amount of leads should be your OEM leads but if the OEMs say that you should give them a price then only do that for your OEM leads if you have to only. I don't like giving a price right off the bat because look at the numbers. If I'm going to give a price, even if I give them a two or three pencil price, like new car, used car, and you know, a low, medium, whatever, if I give them options, look at this. Out of 500 leads, if I send out all these random price quotes, I'm only going to make a small amount of appointments. I'm going to have a smaller amount show up. I'm going to have a smaller amount buy. And 80% of the people that do buy are going to buy a different vehicle. So is the pricing conversation even truly relevant? No, it's truly not. Only for a minute amount. That means literally 20, 20 deals. 20 deals out of 500 leads are relevant theoretically for price. But we can't turn around and say to the customer, look, we know that you're totally indecisive and you're shot and you're going to change your mind five or six times. So we can't say that. It's not appropriate, nor do I ever recommend saying that. But you need to be trained in the reality of what's going on. You need to understand. That way, when you do engage the prospects, you have more confidence in why a deal with Synergy was saying these things and why we're trying to tell you to qualify, identify, meet, and exceed. Stop.